ladies and gentlemen you are watching footage of what is possibly the longest running rally in rise of kingdoms history this past rally went on for like 12 or 13 hours straight and it was so long that it literally broke the game what's going on guys cheers now this Tarek pakal rally was being performed by abu hind in kingdom 1875 i apologize if i mispronounced that and the defenders of this pass are none other than the warriors from kingdom 2172 so i wanted to make this video to memorialize this rally as what i think is possibly the world record for longest rally in rise of kingdoms previously on my channel i did show off a nine hour pass rally slash defense my kingdom was a part of that record and honestly let me just be completely clear with you guys okay this game is played in over 70 countries in the world it's played by thousands of players there's literally thousands of servers in the game so i don't know for sure 100 if this is actually the longest rally in rise of kingdoms history but it is the longest that i have ever seen and it's longer by a pretty substantial margin i could be wrong about that i'm letting you know right up front and you can comment down below if there's been other rallies that have been 12 13 hours long but regardless it's still absolutely insane and this is one of those moments where no matter who wins the rally no matter who takes the pass or defends it it's a moment where we have to just respect both sides for such an absolutely unbelievable performance on the battlefield because no matter how you cut it 12 13 hours long for a single rally or a single pass garrison that is un it is unbelievable it is unbelievable that two groups of players who come from different backgrounds different countries can come together in a coordinated effort on a mobile game to have a moment like this that is so special and moments like this are reasons why players like you and I play rise of kingdoms because you get hundreds and hundreds of people coming together all for one moment for one pass for one rally for one garrison and everyone is working together to come out on top and it's just these are the best moments in rise of kingdoms these are the moments that everybody loves this game for and that other games are trying to replicate and honestly what other mobile game can you say that you've played 12 hours straight it's just unbelievable so before we get into the details I just wanted to give a round of applause for everybody who was involved in this this was absolutely incredible also before we get into some of the details I do have to give thanks to a few people that made this video possible first of all the footage that you're actually looking at right now comes from another rise of kingdoms youtuber who goes by the name rammy games uh this was the only footage or at least the best footage that i could find of this actual rally so i'm gonna leave a link to the original footage down in the description below make sure you guys go over there drop a thumbs up on it or subscribe to the channel obviously there's a little bit of a language barrier here but at least go and show them a little bit of support for actually capturing this moment in time on footage because that is is usually pretty rare I also got to give a shout out to Lloyd who is a regular over on my discord and here on the channel they were the first person to bring this rally to my attention and they sent me screenshots over on discord so without Lloyd I wouldn't have actually known that this was happening I'm gonna link Lloyd's YouTube down below as well if you want to go ahead and give him a sub and remember when I said the rally broke the game I wasn't kidding it literally broke the game and so it was really hard for me to piece together the different reports and a few people that helped me do that were in Kingdom 2172 including Diabolus sorry Sorry if I mispronounced that and also Kelly from the Alliance TB 72 who is the R5 there so these are some pretty reputable sources of information although again I want to be very clear the battle reports for this are bugged they're literally bugged they are literally broken so we don't have the final actual statistics however I did reach out to Abu Hind himself who did clarify to me that the rally went for about 13 hours total the first report that we're going to look at here was for the first 10 hours and then there was another three hours of rally that continued after that report and a few people reached out to vip support looking to see if it was possible to 
recover the actual rally report and i don't think at the time of recording this we don't have a full rally report i don't even know if that is possible again because the game this is all done automatically these numbers and reports are generated in real time automatically based on the data that's given and so i don't actually to be honest i don't think that there's a full rally report for this i don't actually know vip support can do anything but it is a good it's a good try but let me just clarify really quick and again shout out to abu hind for helping me understand what happened here as well but this rally actually helped us discover that there is a 10 hour limit for battle reports that's right it's literally built into the game everybody who is a member of this garrison or this rally got a report at the 10 hour mark exactly with a message saying that the rally time exceeded the maximum this is important information to know that means in the future if you guys are planning on doing super long rallies just know that after the 10 hour mark it is hard capped the, the game is not capable it is not possible to generate uh, a report for over 10 hours in one singular report it is the game is just not coded that way it automatically cuts off at the 10 hour mark which i didn't know and honestly i don't think anybody really knew that because i mean how many 10 plus hour rallies have we ever seen in this game however vip support told abu hind that they will fix the capacity so it's possible that moving forward that capacity will be raised so perhaps we could see a 12 hour limit or a 15 hour limit or something like that in the future but it's my assumption that the developers probably didn't assume or they didn't expect there to ever be over 10 hours worth of a single rally when they were building the battle report formula or system so the bad news is no full report currently exists of this and i doubt that there ever will because the game is hard capped to stop at 10 hours the good news is that in the future it looks like we may possibly be able to start to get battle reports for longer than those 10 hours with all that being said let's get into the numbers because you've seen the rally on the screen all video pretty much you've seen the Tark pakal you've seen the massive amounts of skill damage that are popping off here obviously there are a ton of different garrisons that were a part of this specific uh rally and oh my god bro what what is going on here they are just swarming down the counter rallies they, they, as soon as a counter rally comes in they're swarming it down and of course we also don't have all the different counter rally reports for this report i mean when you're thinking about a 12 or 13 hour rally and you can launch a counter attack every what 10 minutes 12 minutes something like that i mean it's probably even faster it just depends on how quickly you can get reinforcements to the city but realistically there's going to be a cap based on how many troops are literally left in the kingdom like that's going to be your hard cap right uh, anytime that you're reinforcing a counter rally you're you're essentially taking troops away theoretically from the actual garrison of the pass but yeah you saw before we had a Yadviga now we have a Yanziska so there's a ton of different uh garrisons that were going on here obviously they are basically just cycling through the different garrisons that they that they have okay so let's get into the numbers here this is the report that Abu Hind has as the rally leader for the total of the rally so you can see at the top here this is the data summary this is actually a new feature that rise of kingdoms implemented uh, recently where it attempts to summarize pretty much all the individuals that were a part of the battle report so you know obviously as you scroll down there's a bunch of people you know who got hit by the aoe for a couple thousand uh power loss you know that that sort of thing so this is the game's attempt at summarizing the data now before we break this down let's just go over the numbers okay so on the rally side this is the Tarek Pakal they have 84.7 million deads 102 million severely wounded 1.1 billion slightly wounded and we have 1.3 million remaining that's obviously just the rally so they have 3.7 billion kill points from one rally 3.7 billion kill points and then on the garrison side this was all enemies this was all defenders I suppose uh we have 104 million dead troops 136 million severely wounded 1.2 billion slightly wounded with 54 million remaining and 3 billion kill points so as you can see here based on the summary it looks like the rally was the winner and i would expect that to be the case the rally did eventually take the pass okay a little bit of a spoiler there and at the bottom here you can see a portion of 
the actual rally obviously 66 million to 58 million that is nothing special we see that it's not common but we've seen plenty of reports that have numbers that look like that in case you were wondering this occurred at past 10 here so at the time of this rally happening um 75 was already in Kingsland and pushed 72 out of Kingsland within the first 24 hours from what I'm told one individual told me it was about 10 or 12 hours before they were pushed out of Kingsland so either way it doesn't matter how long it took what matters is that uh 75 had already pushed them back to the pass and then the pass rally basically commenced so that's what happened and for those that really care 1875 is the current owner of the zig they are the actual winners of this kvk right now but let's jump back into some of the reports because i didn't cover everything just to put these numbers in perspective just for fun okay this is meaningless but it's fun if you combine the slightly wounded units on both sides you get 2.3 billion troops 2.3 billion troops if that were in the real world that is over 25 percent of the planet I'm gonna say that one more time in order to replicate this engagement you would need more than 25 percent or more than one quarter of all living human beings on planet earth today that is absolutely insane like it's it's hard to it's hard to imagine these numbers right when we're talking about slightly wounded 1 billion who cares right but like if you consider that these are supposed to be troops this would be the biggest single war in history by a by miles by light years now i was also sent this report from diabolus and unfortunately there's no timestamp here he suspects that this is the remainder of the rally so the first report that we looked at was for the first 10 hours remember it's hard capped at 10 hours he thinks that this might be the remaining three hours i'm not sure he's not sure again the timestamp would be up here but unfortunately that is cut off and also the timestamps throughout the entirety of this rally have been completely unreliable and just they're just wrong okay let's go over some screenshots that i got from kelly who was remember the r5 in 72 on the defender side they told me they were present for the entirety of the defense of that pass and they got three separate reports for the entirety of that duration the first was and again this is past six and just that just goes to show how absolutely broken this made the game the game sent out a bunch of it's it sent three reports for the same rally as the rally was going on and it's saying that they were past six when clearly they were not past six but this spans from 6 14 utc to 8 utc um it's my understanding that this rally started around 6 15 utc and went until about 1850 UTC, which would make this a 12 hour rally in total. And you can see the timestamps for both of these are the same. So here we see on the garrison side, we have 16 million deads versus the 18 million deads on the attacker side. Here we have another screenshot from 802 UTC to 1257 UTC. So this must pick up from exactly where this one ended remember this ends at 802 this starts up three seconds later so this one has 48 million deads on the defender side to the 52 million deads on the attacker side and here we can see the kill points really start to get insane remember the kill points for the first screenshot were 583 million to 500 million here we have 1.6 billion to 1.4 billion both of these screenshots by the way are in favor of the garrison here so that is really interesting especially when you consider the overall report that we saw from abu hind showed that the total kill points were higher for the rally than they were for the garrison now these are the final two screenshots i got from kelly from 72 and here we can see that the previous screenshot remember ended at 12 57 32 and this one starts at 12 57 35 so again three seconds later we have this screenshot here and this goes all the way to 1740. i believe the rally lasted about an extra 40 minutes after this from what i'm told but the numbers that we have for this are 1.2 billion on the defender side as far as kill points to 1.5 billion on the attacker side with 
53 million deads for the defenders and 39 million deads for the attackers now if we do a little bit of math we can add up the kill points from all three of these reports so this is what we're going to do first the defender side so 583 million plus 1.6 billion plus 1.2 billion we have a grand total of 3.4 billion kill points for the defenders and if you remember that is not exactly what we saw from abu hin's total summary here and i'm not saying that abu hind is wrong this is literally what the game gave him but the real number it looks like should be this what what we saw in the summary was 3 billion kill points it looks like it should be 3.4 billion if what we can assume from these three screenshots is accurate again i don't know because the game is literally broken if we do the same for the attackers we get a grand total of almost the same number with 3.4 billion now again if we assume that this is the kill points for the attacker and this is the kill points for the defender i mean that's just the numbers that we get from doing the math i think something is seriously broken here i think that there's some sort of limit on this number that is on the back end obviously these numbers are like what are the odds that the trades were that close it's it can't be real i mean there, there's no way right like there's no way that the trades were literally that close as far as kill points go and also there's just no way that that the actual summary was off by that much right i, I don't know if you guys know why this might be the case you can let me know in the comment section below or maybe i'm just doing the math wrong or maybe i'm an absolute idiot i have no idea but if you're wondering about the power law I have three screenshots that I got from Diabolus himself here we could see on the garrison side and once again this is very bugged out uh they were not using Martel Richard okay but the garrison side um lost 233 million to 239 million about 50 million deads on each side here it looks like it was pretty even the second screenshot he sent me was 651.6 million power loss for the defenders 674 million power loss for the rally here we can see 48 million deads to 45 million deads the kill points absolutely insane and then the final screenshot that we got here and this is this is like the nail on the coffin okay and again they did not garrison with Tarek sargon these are completely broken we have 703 million power loss on the garrison side to 490 million power loss on the rally side now again these power losses are our estimates and it's broken up across three different screenshots additionally we don't have like all the counter rallies we don't have all the damage that was done to the counter rallies that were swarmed down which we saw in the video was a very common thing that was done now if we add up the power loss for all three of these screenshots what we find is that on the rally side they lost 1.4 billion power and on the garrison side it was 1.58 billion again don't take these numbers as fact it's just me adding up these three reports and it's the best guess that I that I have I don't I don't think that these I don't think this paints the whole picture uh, but I'm just trying to get a, a general idea of what exactly happened here and this is the closest that we can get as far as power loss goes which is still absolutely insane regardless of the power loss and the deads on both sides here you may be wondering like what was the point of all this right uh obviously we know that the winner of this kvk was 1875 who currently holds the zig at the moment but it seems to be the case that the point of this pass rally which occurred again at past 10 was a because uh, obviously it's fun like that that's kvk that's what you do but b it looks like 72 was trying to drop power uh they told me and this is what i was told in the dms i don't know if this is you know uh just copium or something like that i, I don't know okay i trust i trust them but um, they told me that they were dropping power they accidentally became imperium during this kvk and they wanted to drop power because you know kvk was already ending they had people that were migrating in and they didn't want to be imperium anymore so essentially they dropped a bunch of power during this uh during this garrison and eventually they just stopped reinforcing it because they did they dropped all the power that they cared to lose that is what i have been told about this um what is that Herman doing right there yo what's your what's your Herman doing right there brother what are you what are you doing you got a death wish my boy what are you doing brother that's it that's a war zone man what do you you have no idea jesus christ someone get your boy anyway it doesn't matter what the point of all this was this is war at its finest this is rise of kingdoms at its finest so i wanted to just give a huge kudos to 1875 for the rally and 
2172 for the incredible pass defense surely this rally will go down in history if not the longest it is one of the longest rallies in all of rise of kingdoms history and it's not every day that you see an insane rally and reports like this so i wanted to share with you guys with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on this rally report what is your perspective were you there were you in this kvk let me know and if you've seen a longer rally than this also let me know in the comment section below while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace